Okay, I'm going to try to review a few of the features of 5.0. Not all of them, because there's way too many to go over in a quick review. So I'm going to start out here with uh, one of the new features. Okay, in screen settings, you can now select a use screen saver instead of use start screens that has a cover screen slideshow. The cover screen slideshow looks similar to this here that you may already be accustomed to in 4.0. But in the new 5.0, instead of using this use cover screen, you can now use the screen saver and you can select between blank image slideshow or animated text or video. So you can actually have a video advertisement or whatever you want and play a video clip. And it would show here as a video clip. Uh, let's see. I grabbed a clip here and it shows it. And it will play music or whatever, uh, whether you can hear that or not. There's music playing. And it could be an advertisement or whatever you wanted to show full screen. So that kind of gives you an idea with the video or animated text. Now animated text down here on the right hand side, you have a capabilities of creating as many lines of animated text as you would like to have on your screen. Each single line will be represented on the screen. The example would be with three, these three lines. When you show the preview, they animate up on the screen. Hello, check out this photo booth. Okay, and then they animate away until another one comes in. Just press the start and get fun, have fun. And then it animates it with a different animation off the screen. And what are you waiting for? You know, and so on. And it repeats itself over and over again on an external monitor or within the photo booth itself. Okay, so that would be text. Another one is instead of animation, the one I like the best is actually the slideshow that was similar to what we had before. And now you can actually select any folder as before. But in this case, I'm selecting the folder and I'm not displaying the, the uh, photos in order. So I selected a singles folder where all my single photos are at. And now when I preview it, it will actually show full screen, a full preview of photos from today's event. Because I've selected today's event after a session or two was done it'll immediately show a display of those photos from the animation. What's nice about it is you can actually set this time to start as little as one minute or as much as 30 minutes of no operation of the booth, which means if nobody's running the booth at all, just like a screensaver, it will automatically kick in to whichever you've selected to use as a screensaver. I really like this feature. Another feature people have been requesting in the past is to create portrait. We originally had square and wide, but people wanted to have portrait. The reason being that some people are turning their monitors vertical and they wanted to be able to do actual portrait photos. So you could actually create portrait photos now, which is really handy if you're doing portrait photos like this here and you have the capabilities of actually turning the camera to give a full portrait view and you can actually set it up so that you had a screen overlay for such as a magazine cover let's see if i've got something in here like archives here for a magazine cover uh here's a magazine uh and this is sports illustrated okay and i mirror it and then i close it so in a portrait view like this here now we have the actual uh, the actual magazine cover and it really works out cool for that so that's another feature that I really like that you can use a few other feature features in the countdown for instance you can now set it up to have no trigger no countdown at all okay and trigger it upon the button or a text prompt or a notification. In this case, I'm going to use a button and, and I'll show you how it will work with the fourth. So when I bring it up here, here we go. It will now, when I start the session, 
it will now here we go get ready to smile that's in text animation and now it has a button you pull whatever you want the button to be and that button can be on screen touch screen say cheese or click on to actually take the picture precisely when you clicked on the say button cheese. so basically you can do that i'm going to cancel this session okay also uh what's nice about that feature with the trigger auto trigger it's good for setting up like studio type setups where you've got somebody in the booth and you really want to get a good shot for each one of the shots and you're posing them that really works well for that but you could also do it where how many times have you had somebody in the booth say I don't like that one well how about a retake a do-over now you have the ability actually to do retakes or what we call do-overs <laughs> And you can have a button or a notification. I'm going to put it on button and give you an idea what this looks like. And you can set the timer to wait for the key press 10 seconds. And after 10 seconds, if they don't press it, then it just goes on to do the next, the next photo. All the way up to 30 seconds. Okay. Or you could set it upon wait for the key press so that it's just waiting for you to key press. And the key press would either be... Uh, let me set this for five seconds make it simple the key press would either be a R key to retake or the button itself if there's button set up so I'm gonna run through a session here, here we go quick. so now we got it set up for a session five, I take four, the picture three, I'm in the booth get two, ready that's my animated one, text that's on five, beforehand which is also four, in 5.0 and three, somebody's bothering me two, in the booth and I'm getting distracted and I'm like what the heck is it and I got a frozen shot here what do I Five, want to do? Do four, I want to keep it or do three, I want to reach? Two, well, I waited too one, long. I only gave me 10 seconds. Five, four, but in the case of this three, time, somebody's going to distract two, me from the other another. side over here. Okay. And now Five, I say retake. Four, You'll notice three, it is not two, in the second one. window. So it'll t retake the picture. Five, and you can do that three, with the buttons on two, screen and or another. the timer set for any additional time. And then we're going to keep this one. So that kind of gives you an idea. And that. another. So, so you may have noticed during the last couple of sessions, there was text that came in before photos, such as first photo, next photo. And you could put in, just before these photos, all kinds of things. The last one you saw was keep your clothes on, which is kind of fun. And these animated text here uh, were done because it's selected as animated text and whatever color you want to select from the color menu. Or if you know the six six digit color code uh, you can punch that in and make any color in the rainbow all right so that's another cool feature within that section one last one that I really think is great and I say last one because there's there's got to be at least another 30 items that I didn't even get into at this point I just want to keep this under 10 minutes the one that I really think is the coolest is recently added by John is the ability to have in the layout editor outlines and drop shadows in the text itself you will see this text here this text has an effect that's called it's over here on the right hand side called bevel okay you can select the upper up top and left color and the bottom right color for the bevel any color you want say you wanted the top to be orange and the bottom to be white any color you want okay drop shadows the same thing any color you want and you can make it the distance you want you see that drop shadow jumping away from it okay and some people will say well I don't want the drop shadow on the bottom right well you got an angle here you can make it any angle you want watch it move around all the way around to the bottom left move into the top right okay text outline actually it's called glow because when you first select it I will select nothing and then click it and click glow the default is at red it kinda gives it a glow color but you can make this any color you want so if you wanted an outline in black and you wanted it to be a little stronger than just a couple little digits there and you wanted <coughs> the blur to be 
just enough to where it can and, and these colors can be bigger I mean uh, any color you want or any thickness you want and as you make it thicker and the blur fatter it c continues on and it's not just the text you can do it in photo boxes as you see in these three photo boxes or graphic images any graphic image that's a GNP type image it actually wraps right around the image and that is what I think is really cool and these actually show up on the screen doing a preview give you an idea here when it opens up as a preview three two one it's getting there a lot of stuff on this screen and it has a preview with the drop shadows outlines or and so on and that is really cool I think one thing that you may have noticed this screen in the layout editor is a lot bigger than the screens you've seen on your layout editor because yours is usually just this 50 percent and you're trying to see things well now you can actually do a zoom in up to fit the screen that you looked at a moment ago and let's say that you're a little bit on the blind side zoom in you can scroll up and down with a scroll bar on the top on the right and on the bottom as so and if you really wanted to zoom in on the text over here let's take a look on the text right over here and you wanted to see it really close you put it on 200 percent and you are on top of that text you can check it out a hundred percent and still work on it and make it a little bit smaller than that okay and and it's really cool by just going right back to the 50 percent you were accustomed to in the past well those are just a few of the enormous amount of new features built into 5.0 uh, download it and give it a trial give it a tryout uh, if you wish to upgrade to it I would suggest that you do uh, the cost of upgrade for all of the new features in my opinion is really cool I was trying to keep this under 10 minutes but there are just way too many features even with the few that I showed at this point in time good luck have a good one if you have any questions you let us know we can do a Skype and I can show you all the new features one by one personally one-on-one -on -one. have a good one